If you always do what you're comfortable with, then you will never discover something new. Like, you have to step out of your comfort zone in order to do something really novel. When I was 15, someone very, very close to me died, and I just realized, like, Life can't just be this tiny little bubble. You have to get outside, you have to live, you have to be open. You have to go out there and, and, and discover new things. And that's really how you grow. That's how you become a better person. That's how you become a better scientist. That's how you do new things in the lab and in your life. There's so many things that are still unknown and so many things that are still to be discovered. And it's just amazing that, that I, I can just stand in this lab, I can work on this table, and I can actually test something that's, that's completely unknown to us. I can just, just push our knowledge further. It's, it's, it always seems like this, it's, it's impossible to do something new and everything has been done. But I think really the contrary is true. Like, nothing has been done. We, we really don't know anything. As long as you're creative and, and I think I'm open-minded, you, you can actually really discover a lot of novel things. We don't see any quantum effects in our everyday life. Everything behaves according to classical physics. And so the question is, is there anything happening in between, like, between the microscopic and the macroscopic world? What we're trying to do here um, is we, we're really trying to make very, very large systems, like at least for quantum physics, like very large systems, and try to observe quantum effects on those. It's so precise, we haven't found anything that the quantum physics is, is wrong about. You think so hard about problems all the time, and then when you let go, when you don't think about them, that, that's, I think, how you very often come to a solution to the problem. Like this is a very unique environment to, to actually do research. Being open, learning from other people, learning from other cultures, experiencing new things. That's really what I, I think I, I want my life to be about and, and also, also my science to be about.